Hi there! So this new True Ballistics Chronograph by FX Outdoors is really a cool piece of machinery. It has a ton of features up its sleeve, for instance it can calculate your projectile velocity at different distances that you set up, it can calculate your true ballistics coefficient, it can uh, give you some firing solutions, it can give you adjustment solutions when you change from projectile weight, etc. A lot of good stuff in the new True Ballistics Chronograph by FX. But there is one uh, feature that I find very important and that is how to upgrade or upgrade the firmware on the True Ballistics Chronograph. It is very important so FX can implement some new features, it can uh, improve some certain stuff, it can give you a whole bunch of extra things to put on your True Ballistics Chronograph. With this ab ability it gives you also the confidence that in one year or two years your True Ballistics Chronograph will still be up to date with the firmware that you can install. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video, is how to upgrade the firmware on your True Ballistics Chronograph. Let's get started. So to upgrade the firmware on your True Ballistics Chronograph, it's very easy and obviously you need yourself uh, your uh, Ballistics Chronograph, of course, but make sure you have at least 50% uh, of battery life just to be sure on the safe side that you don't run out of battery while you're uh, performing this upgrade. Um, you also you can use the included, or included in the package, the USB uh, cable they provide with it in order to connect the chronograph to your computer and the last thing you will need is a computer, of course. And with the computer on hand, the first thing you want to do is to go to this website there on top. I will also put it in the corner of the screen or in the, the video description down below so you can always find it. This link brings you to the True Ballistics Chronograph update portal. On this page you can see uh, a bunch of things to do it as well as some instructions uh, to go with it. Now the first thing you want to do is to download and install the STM32 Cube programmer from the link below and it's very easy just by clicking on it you, the download will start. So what you're actually downloading is a small program um, but you don't really need the program itself you only need the drivers of that program. So the program you can just uh, when it finishes downloading you can extract, extract it install that little program and that's it. You can put it to the side, you don't need the program, you don't need to open it, it's just the drivers that gets installed together with the program that we need in order to upgrade the firmware. Now while the program is installing we can have a look at the page again with the next steps that we will have to do and at the bottom of the page you can also see the firmware update change log. Here it is, uh, you can see what kind of um, upgrades we're going to install this time on uh, our FX Ballistics Chronograph and one thing is the trigger sensitivity and the RA4 drag model to add to the Ballistics Chronograph. And with the program installed we are ready for the next step. The next step we will connect our uh, chronograph by the little slot you have here, the same one you would use to uh, charge it of course. Pull in, put in your uh, USB cable and put the other end into your computer. Then the next step before entering the bootloader or the bootloader menu on your FX Ballistics Chronograph, make sure your Ballistics Chronograph is turned off. In order to access that bootloader, it is very easy. Hold or press and hold the top left uh, button. Then press and hold the bottom one until you hear the ping on the computer, release the top one and then you can go ahead to the top of the screen and say connect. There you can choose the STM32 bootloader and you make connection. Once the connection is made you can go to select firmware and there you can see uh, some different ones. The two top ones are uh, uh, version 52 and the two bottom ones are version 55. Now, the Ballistics Chronograph has two versions depending on in, uh, which part of which part of the world you're living in. This has to do with uh, transmitting regulations, same as you have with uh, some drones, and therefore uh, you have to choose the one that suits with where you're living, of course. Since I'm living in Europe, I'm going to press EU, and still you can see I'm hold, press and holding the on button, and then it's very simple, upload to chronograph. On the screen you can see erasing DFU device memory, so it will go through its cycle. Keep pressing that button, it's successfully erased, so now it's copying from the browser to the DFU device, in this case the ballistics chronograph. We're gonna 
keep holding the button, make sure you don't release that button, keep holding it as long as it's doing this. We'll speed up the video to make it easier, of course. And just like that, the data has been transferred and it says done. At this point, you can release the button and the chronograph will start up by itself, it seems. Or maybe because I pulled it out, it stopped. So let's put it on through ballistics uh, chronograph. Let's go into the menu to see if it added that new drag model. Uh, let's go down distance projectile weight drag model. And there you can see now we have the RA4 projectile as well. So, and there you have it guys, in just a matter of minutes, you can upgrade the firmware on your True Ballistics Chronograph by FX. Really cool that I have added this feature so they can keep on improving the True Ballistics Chronograph, adding some more cool features, adding some inputs that we give them that we really want to really need, and so keep this product growing and becoming even more interesting. So, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. I will always be happy to answer them. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I catch you back in the next one.